the city now has a more clear idea of the affordable housing needs in Durham. Now the challenge is determining what to do about it. The City Council received a presentation on the issue from Karen Ledeau with Enterprise Community Partners during its work session on December 10th. Enterprise was hired by the City to conduct an assessment of affordable housing in Durham. Those findings will then lead to the development of five-year affordable housing goals and a long-term strategy for meeting them. So the population is growing and the nature and the definition of diversity is changing in Durham. Um, and what it means is that the situation we're facing as a city is also changing. We're moving away from the challenge of disinvestment to struggling with the consequences of rapid growth. We still have both in the city, but, but now rapid growth is, I think, really what has led to a lot of the anxiety around the housing issue. The study found that although rent and home values have increased, Durham remains overall a relatively affordable market. It obviously varies tremendously by submarket. But it means that now is the right time to be having this discussion. It's, you know, this is a, ch a challenging problem to address anywhere in the cost curve, but the later, you know, the later you are, the more expensive things have gotten, the harder it is. Ladeau says that the greatest need is among renters because renters in Durham tend to be low income. The higher concentrations of very low income and extremely low income households are in the central and eastern parts of the city, a fact that Ladeau says should bear weight on any future transit conversations. The geography sort of tells us we see a concentration of households without vehicles in areas where we know we have a lot of low income people. Here's a look at some of the other key findings from the study. As of 2012, almost 11,000 low-income renters, the majority of whom were among the very low income, were paying over 50% of their income for housing. This is known as being severely housing cost burdened. Renters represent 72% of all severely cost burdened households in Durham. 7,058 severely cost burdened low-income households are African American. 5,466 are white and 1,426 are Hispanic. Citywide, there is a shortage of units affordable to extremely low and very low income households. Using these findings, Ladeau and her team will come back to the city with defined goals and strategies to support them in February.